make parents a gourmet meal using only an easy bake oven. gonna work. I cannot see a thing. You're about to get hit by a oh, car. I was about to get hit by a car. <laughs> How's this gonna work? What? Uh, our plan for them to cook us a full course meal oh, it's in an easy be, bake oven. It's gonna be delicious. We're not gonna be eating dinner until like 11 o'clock at night. All right, I'm not hungry right now anyways. I can wait. I mean, you're gonna be starving, aren't you? Because everything has to be small in order to go into the easy bake oven, right? Well, yeah. Everything has to be tiny. Yeah. That's okay. okay. It'll work. It'll work. So I'm thinking we need to find the smallest of everything, right? Steak and potatoes. Steak and potatoes are gonna cook in an easy bake oven. I don't know, why are you asking me? I found some tiny steaks. Yes, those are pretty tiny. Compared to regular size ones. Yeah. Let me show you. So here's the regular size, yep. here's the tiny. Oh, we I are think gonna they'll be work. Good tonight. Yes. We are gonna be eating good. We have quite the selection of potatoes. 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 Potatoes here. Oh, I just hit the camera. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we need the smallest. Baby potatoes right here. Right there, the baby ones. Yep. We got what we need, you guys. We got all the groceries. Wait, Dr. Teal's? That's for oh. later for me to oh, relax. that's for bath time. We got everything we need in these bags yep. for the girls to cook us a beautiful dinner in their Easy Bake Ovens. <laughs> what happened? Okay, so I was melting her, right? <laughs> and she ran into the wall and we just like stuck there in the air. Oh yeah? Like a spider. I jumped my feet and my arms were like that. <laughs> Are you guys ready to cook us some dinner? Yeah. Yeah. I, I have an appetizer here. round. And an entree round and a dessert. You guys have to make dessert too. Okay. Well, it might not be that filling because we have to cook very tiny pieces. Right. But I have seen somebody. That's okay. Small portions. I'm on a diet, okay? I actually do think this will work. I'm getting hungry. You gotta stop drawing now and you gotta come make me some dinner. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hello and welcome to the first ever and only probably ever semi-annual Kids make parents a gourmet meal using only an easy bake oven. We will be having chicken cheesy nachos. Chicken cheesy nachos, that sounds good. For the entree course, we will be having a buttery thyme crusted steak. You expect us to get a crust on it? Y yes, I do. And for dessert, we will be having a lovely uh, box cupcake already done for you. A box cupcake already done for you. The challenge is not the cake mix portion. It's trying to make cupcakes in these little teeny tiny cupcake holders. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's go. Well, I'm ready for some dinner, so cook me up some food. We made this first round pretty easy on them. They already have cooked chicken. Uh, so th that's not gonna take long. They basically just gotta make sure this cheese is melted. But for round two, you are actually gonna be working with raw meat, which means that it's gotta be cooked all the way through so Tara and I can enjoy it. I believe in you guys. You guys are gonna do this. Are you ready to yeah. do this? Oh, she is putting her cheese layer down first. So did Ada. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, because the bottom chips never get enough cheese. And I'm feeling cheese. The bottom chips never get enough cheese, so you put the cheese underneath the chips? Yes. You gotta That's put some chicken on those, Rory. Sounds like I'm gonna get a cheese chip sandwich. Pretty much. All right, Ada's getting her chicken on. Wow, this is getting um, really sir? intense. Yes. I'm wearing the host hat. Oh, you're the host? Zip it, mister. Ada's putting the chicken on, and this is getting really intense. Right now, she is actually shredding the rotisserie chicken. Mm hmm. Rory has only one chip on her plate of nachos. Very interesting. You'll see. One chip. One chip on the plate of nachos. You know what This looks so good. I have to mash it down a little. I don't think it's going to fit. All right, we go. Okay, it's time to do a temperature check on our Easy Bake Oven. As you know, these take a while to get heated up. And I'm gonna say the temperature is hot. Rory, go ahead and touch the Easy Bake Oven and tell me what the temperature is. Hot. Hot? It's hot. Didn't I already tell you that I'm wearing the host hat, not you? You keep taking over the show. 
All right, right. I'm so hungry. So now I suggest while this is cooking, you get your next meal prepped and ready to go. Yeah, get it prepped. Please this is me. delicious. It's gonna be tasty, I think. I can't wait to see how long this is gonna take to cook. <laughs> okay, so Rory went for a little chicken only on half of the nacho. I kinda like that because then we can decide if we want chicken in one bite and maybe no chicken in the next bite, right? Okay, let's put it in. Since it's raw meat. Oh, yeah, honey. You're ready for raw meat. You're okay. ready for your raw meat? You need to clean up your station, girlfriend. Ow. It is a mess. She's got the butter knife. How are you gonna cut meat with the butter knife? These these are tenderloins, I think. Give me some. So the first thing that I'm looking for is that this meat is gonna be tender. And it looks like Ada is cutting it correctly. She's cutting it against the grain. But oh, wait a second, wait a second, is she? I don't think she I is. don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't means. know. Should I go this way? Oh, I think you might want to flip it. Okay. The grain is, okay, flip it again. There you go. Wait, nope, that's with the grain. Flip it the other way. There, right there, that's with the grain. That's against the, the grain, that's against the grain. That's gonna be tender. See how Ada's cutting hers really thin, Rory? That's how you want it so it can fit in the pan, okay? The butter knife is actually working. This is a yeah, really tender Because this is a it's a tenderloin. Yeah. I think you guys might want to consider putting in your potatoes next uh, while your nachos are being done because potatoes take a little bit longer than steak does. But the potatoes. I'm just gonna say I don't want a crunchy potato. You can cut them really thin. Yeah, you and can. you can put steak on one side and potatoes on the other and put them together. Yes. Together, together. Mm. I don't agree with this. I don't agree with this. I think you should cook the potatoes separately. Gosh, those look so cheesy. I can't wait to try them. Um, what happened to these? Why are I started them eating them because they're really, really you're good. Not, you're not gonna save any for me? I got yours. I'll no, take the rest. I'll save that for you. All right, I am gonna compare Rory's nachos to Ada's nachos. So Rory's looks like it came out a little bit more cheesy. It's kind of hard to find the chicken. <laughs> or the chips. <laughs> it's more like a cheesy chicken. It looks good. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kind of assemble it myself. Okay. See if there's any difference in taste. Same ingredient, same taste. Ada decided to make steak frites, which is steak with fries. And look at how cute they look, they're so tiny. Rory is slaying her potatoes over here. Those are definitely gonna be tasty. Honestly, I wish you guys could smell it in our kitchen right now because it does give off the aroma of like yummy food being cooked. Cause they, I mean, I don't think it's really being cooked, mainly being heated, but it still gives off this yummy smell. I like raw potato. I literally just thought of the best idea for Easy Bake. Why are they not doing a TV dinner easy bag? That would be so tiny. You would get nothing out of it. You'd get like one green bean. That's but why. But it would be fun. Fail, fail, your idea fails. What do we have going on here? Okay, so I'm putting my steak on. It's a little spicy. I added some more seasonings, legit salt and pepper. Okay. Time. What are you gonna put on your french fries? Uh, put probably them in just some salt. Just salt, no oil? Uh, a little bit of oil maybe. To maybe help the salt stick. Ooh, that looks so good. Oh. These are probably gonna be the best potatoes ever. I can't wait to try them. Oh my goodness. Rory. What? Think fast. Ooh, oh. good oh. catch. <laughs> Rory, oh, we might have failed. We forgot to check the time when you put your steak in. Should we check it real quick? See how far along it's coming? I feel like it's been at least 10 minutes. So we'll see how, it go, how it's coming. It's it's most likely I'm gonna tell you when it's coming out. Okay, oh yep, yeah, it's out. You can come and pull it from the other side now. All right, get ready. Let's check on this deliciousness. There's a handle. Oh my gosh, I wonder if it's still gonna look completely raw. <gasps> yes, it does still look completely raw. 
We might be waiting a super long time for dinner tonight. Yeah, we might be. And we might be getting steak jerky. <laughs> so there is some browning happening. Yeah, it's just, cooking. Just gotta wait a lot longer. Each of the girls have put their steak dinners into the Easy Bake Oven. It is now cooking. And they're moving on to prepping our dessert. It is gonna be an extra special. She's just dusting the stuff onto the floor, okay. Extra special dessert off because Rory is gonna bake a cake and Ada is gonna do cupcakes. And now you guys might think that that's not really that much of a difference, but it totally is. The ratios are way different, which makes the flavor come out way different. Not really, I'm just kidding. It's gonna be the same thing. That is way too liquidy. I would just start over completely. Rory's is looking pretty good over here. I'd say it's just about ready. We gotta get some of those lumps out, some of those dry clumps. Look at her serious face, you guys. She is taking this challenge. So seriously, I just love it. Are you having so much fun? Yeah. All right, we're gonna check on Rory's steak again. It's probably been like another five minutes. Potato. She added her potatoes in there too. All right, let me feel it. Oh, we need probably, oh, the potatoes are soft. Another five minutes. It's actually getting really brown. Another five minutes and we'll be good to it's go. Looking pretty good actually. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. What are you doing? Spraying my pan. You're spraying your pan? So that way it doesn't stick? The cake won't stick? Yeah. Is there any spray left? Oh no. There's no spray left. Oh my oh my gosh. That was a lot. It bubbles up. Okay. Well now it's definitely not gonna stick, right? Yeah. It's time to put the cake batter in. I gotta make sure I don't get too much spray on here because a lot of spray comes out as you can see. So you just just spray it all over the house. That works. Yes, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> How does the cake batter taste? Perfect? Yep. <laughs> Ada is carefully placing her batter into the cupcake tins. We're gonna have so much extra batter, but that's okay. We can eat it. Yes. And there's no egg in it, so you won't get sick. Yeah, we decided not to add the egg. So it, it doesn't rise. So it doesn't rise too, too much. Because if these little things get too puffy, they will get stuck. Rory's steak has finished cooking, and now she has been moving her little cake into the Easy Bake. Yeah, I'm waiting for Ada to get the, the fork. Let me see this. I want to see this. Come on, hurry up, Chef. Chef! Brown. Hurry up, Chef! Ooh, I think Ooh. hers is done. Yeah, hers does look done. It's yep. really thinly sliced. Some of it's it is done. pretty cooked. That one isn't cooked as well, but... Mmm, mm. smells so good. Okay, we're yeah, gonna try this. Good too. Oh, my spices and my flavors are coming together. You better get your cupcakes in. So here we have Ada's plate, which alone, just on presentation, they both look really good. Rory's is over here, and now we're gonna go for it and for the tasting. Yeah, so Rory's is a little bit thicker cut of meat, which I like, and um, apparently spicy with the Cholula. Ada, you put cayenne? Mm -mm. What kind of spices on there? I think. I forget what it's called, it's over there. Okay, so I know we started with a really good cut of meat already, yeah. but this steak is actually really tender. Mm -hmm. Like, if you served this to someone, they would not guess that you cooked it in an easy bake oven. Okay, let's switch. Rory's <laughs> is really good as well. Spicy, but good. I gotta try Ada's potatoes. Potatoes? On the al dente side, but not bad. Hey, Rory's steak. Mmm. I mean, it's really all about the way you cut the meat, because that made it really tender. Rory. I would say Rory's is a little bit more tender, though. I like the Cholula on the steak. That was a good call. Ada's fries are better, though. Mm-hmm. But you cut them nice and thin. Yep. All right. So I would say that it's a tie, because I like Rory's Steak more, but I like Ada's fries more. <laughs> I agree. Going in on that smell of vision, it smells like strawberry mm -hmm. goodness in here. So the cupcakes are done. Don't touch it. It's hot. It just came out of the oven. I didn't think it was going to be that Even hot. Even if it is a light bulb oven, it still gets really hot. Okay, so the round that I thought was definitely going to be a success was the dessert round. And we failed at what the Easy Bake Oven is made to do. How did we even do this? So that's Ada's cupcake that you're currently viewing um <laughs> and they taste really bad i had one it's like try it. if it would at least taste good it would probably be okay mine's far i think it's fine no it tastes just greasy you guys must just be really kinda, hungry it kind of tastes good 
Okay, let's check on Rory's cake because we had a disaster there right. too. The problem with Rory's cake is that we'll be sitting here for another two hours. Yeah, it's taking a while. Cause she put a lot of batter in there. So let's see what we got. And then you just smushed it all and made it even worse. I know it was bad. <laughs> so we can. Have, oh wait, is that done? Partially. Kinda. Why is only half of it done? I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. Here, eat the cooked half. Okay. It's because it looks Daddy eaten in the middle. Mmm. That tastes pretty good. Tastes like cake. Truly, but. It's a little hot, be careful. So there you go. If you ever want to make yourself a gourmet meal with an easy bake oven, it is possible. Very possible to have a good meal. It's just if you have a lot of people to feed, probably not the best yeah. method. And <laughs> you, you need a lot of time on your hands. Or a lot of easy bake ovens. Or a lot of easy bake ovens, yeah. So we are gonna say goodbye for now, not forever. We'll see you in the next one. Remember to eat your pickles, guys. Yeah.